Hello and welcome back to the Revitalize the Total Woman podcast. I'm your senior host and coach, Lakeisha McKnight. And of course, it's about 8.09 p.m. Normally we're here around 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, But I wanted to make sure I jumped in and provide you all with some great content um, that's going to help many of you uh, who are on the dating scene, or at least want to get back in the dating scene. So remember this podcast, the Revitalize the Total Woman podcast is a media outlet for the nonprofit uh, that's entitled Women of Elevation Career Services International. Uh, And what we do uh, with this podcast is we empower women like yourself with the tools to be able to create, relate, and elevate. And so we're focusing on relationships during the months of May through August, where the first two months focus on personal relationships. And the last two months, which is July and August, focus on professional relationships. And so our focus uh, recently has been on dating. But before I jump in, I want to encourage you to visit the website at any time uh, just to learn more about what it is that we do. Uh, And that website is www.womenofelevation.com. So in focusing in on the topic at hand, relationship mastery, uh, what makes dating hard? What makes it extremely difficult to date? I know I posted something on on my wall as well as in the community group on Facebook. uh, And, you know, many people express a struggle when it comes to dating. Um, Of course, I posted it in reference to 20 year olds and 30 year olds, but many who are 50 and 50 and 40 year olds struggle as well. Some even believe that dating is non-existent. Uh, And so I just want to give you, you know, some ideas about what makes dating hard and how can we really overcome this hurdle, this barrel. Now, I, of course, I'm married. I've been married for over 10 years now. But what are some things that can be done um, that can really propel and move things forward in the dating scene? So um, one thing, of course, that makes dating hard is, of course, the mindset of people who aren't really focused in on long term relationships. Many want a present satisfaction instead of a long-term relationship. They want something here and now, but they're not thinking about the impact that it can have, those French benefits that it can have in the long run if you do not sow into the relationship. So you reap what you sow. So if you're not sowing time into the relationship, you're actually reducing the time uh, from your relationship. Does that make sense? And so you have to sell. So what makes it hard is when people don't sell, when you just get in there. And of course, you sometimes it happens by mistake, but you get in there and you give up the cookies too fast. Cookies, meaning you have sexual relations too quickly. Um, And so that spoils it. And so that kind of negates the whole getting to know you process. And sometimes it can make it a lot difficult, much more difficult. So You know, that's what makes dating hard when you're not focusing on getting to know the person, but you want the French benefits. Um, And so when you don't and of course, not valuing the other person nor valuing yourself, you just want a quick fix. It's just this microwave generation of wanting the benefits, but not wanting to sow and invest uh, to to really enhance the value of the thing. So. Really focus in on getting to know a person and investing into the relationship so that you can get much more out of it. That's where the issue lies. So hopefully you've gained a quick little nugget or two from this because that's what makes dating so hard. The mindset of the people who want things so fast that they want to move past uh, what they what they in their mind may think may be the time waster. Uh, which in actuality, the time waster is, you know, having sex too fast. And then that removes the value from the relationship. So sow and invest and express through getting to know a person that they're worth it, that they're worth the time. Now, if you're just trying to fulfill issues of your flesh, meaning you're just trying to have sex because it's just, it just feels so good then you might have to think of some other ways to receive satisfaction out of life. Let's just be honest. Now, I know sex is something that many people, it is a need for some. And it's a general need for human beings. We're, you know, we're sexual beings. But at the same time, life is not all just about sex. Okay. So hopefully you've gleaned a lot from this. I would love to know your feedback as far as what you think about what I've shared tonight. Um, You can leave it in the comments area, especially if you're not listening in live. If you enjoyed what you heard, click the like button or it should be a heart 
that indicates like. So click that button. Uh, and we're going to come back here next week talking more about dating. I'm going to be posting more about this tonight as well on my timeline, as well as uh, inside the community group. Look for us in the commu- on Facebook. Of course, we have a group on Facebook, which is our community group. Uh, you can just search for Women of Elevation under Groups. And then if you want to connect with me and join in on the timeline discussions, uh, you can look for me at Facebook.com forward slash L McKnight Speaks. The spelling is L-M-C-K-N-I-G-H-T-S-P-E-A-K-S. L McKnight Speaks. Simply uh, request to connect. Let me know how you found out about me. I would love to know if you heard the podcast and wanted to connect. And then we'll get we'll get going. We'll we'll get to know one another. Okay. So thank you so much for joining in. Remember, this podcast is here to empower women like yourself with the tools to be able to create, relate, and elevate. That's it for this week. Speak with you on next week. Take care and God bless.